Congress is poised to take Barack Obama's Senate seat. You heard it here today. Senators Harry Reid and Dick Durbin, the top Democrats, agreed that Burris's paperwork is in order. Talk about a political strategist. It was less than a week ago that Burris showed up in Washington only to be denied entry to be, quote, in the biblical sense, turned away. Joining me now, the strategist Steve McMahon is a Democratic strategist and Todd Harris, a Republican strategist. You guys had more fun with this, Republicans. Yes, Why did you guys become the amen chorus for Roland Burris? Why did you love this one? Because for the same reason that Harry Reid didn't want him in the Senate, because we see Roland Burris as a number one target in two years ah. in, a, in a state, in a race, because we think we can beat him. The, the reason Harry Reid didn't... Oh, you think he'll be the nominee next time? If he, yeah, I mean, he'll be the, he'll be the incumbent. Who's going to get the primary? He, who's going to tell him he can't run? Oh, no, but, no, you no. Know, <laughs> even if it becomes a bloody primary, the reason why Harry Reid didn't want him in the Senate was because he felt that he wasn't electable in the downstate part of Illinois. And oh, really? That's how, I don't know how to read minds. What do you think? I'm I think Burris made his way in by, by basically uh, demanding that he be seated because he was properly appointed, whatever you think of uh, Rod Blagojevich. And he showed up with the two guys with the umbrellas. He said, let me in. And they were afraid in the end to say no. They were afraid. You're right. You're absolutely right. That's what happened. And the ironic thing, and we talked about this last week, is that after 50 or so United States senators, Democratic senators said that Blagojevich's pick will not be seated, that person would not have been seated had it not been for the fact that he was an African American. You think so? I'm glad he was able to run home over the weekend and get his papers in order. No, he got, so a, that, he got uh, uh, Jesse White, the Jesse Secretary White of State, to signed, finally sign a document. Signed a document. Not the document originally that the Senate was looking for. Um, and in fact, wait the minute, Senate originally wasn't looking for a document. Here. You no, don't think he should be the senator from I don't. Illinois. I don't. I think, I think that Harry Reid and the Democratic senators at the beginning who said this pick is tainted were right. And I think they were within their, their rights under the Constitution. And I think they were within their rights under the Senate rules. And they, frankly, just rolled over. So this guy's tainted? Yeah, he's tainted. Do you agree? Absolutely. The biggest loser in all this is Danny Davis, who was offered it first and said no. That's because right. he, So he you thought, wanted a Democratic senator to be seated who was tainted? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Why? Because we think we can knock him off in two years. Look, we don't have a lot of... Have you no pride, no shame? <laughs> no, no, I, I think I'm game? a political consultant. Doesn't that go without okay, saying? Let me ask you about what's happening. Let me, let me go right here. Exactly. You've got a new senator from Illinois. You believe he's vulnerable next time, Absolutely. right? Okay, let's talk about some other things that are developing.